Hello, this is Kerry Schutz with MathWorks. In this video, I'm going to introduce a function from Mixed Signal Block Set called Trend Chart. And as you might have guessed, it allows you to take your MATLAB table data and visualize it, analyze it in Trend Chart form. So as a quick example, let's say I had a table in MATLAB called capital T. It has 42 rows and nine columns. You can see what the column labels are named, things like uh, I load, CFB, core model spec, temperature, BDD, phase margin, and I would like to visualize this in trend chart form. Uh, that boils down to this one liner in MATLAB calling trend chart, pass the name of the table T, and then tell it what goes on all of the axes, the X axis, the Y axis, and the legend. Uh, when I do that, I'm going to get a trend chart that looks like this. You can see what's on X, what's on Y, and what is on the legend. So let's go over to the doc on this function and see what it says about it. So at the top, I just did a doc here on trend chart. I'll pull that over here and we'll see it came out uh, just a release ago. It's 25A right now. Um, this came out one release ago in 24B. Um, and initially, uh, this functionality of trend charting was meant to work with AD data reader objects. So what is that? That is data that originated in uh, a cadence simulation, uh, cadence virtuoso ADE analog design environment uh, simulation. Recently, we've extended this trend chart to work with arbitrary MATLAB table data, and that's kind of my focus in this video. So um, this documentation is like all of our documentation. It goes into what each of the parameter do, do, uh, does and uh, provides examples on how to use it. So let's go back over to my script and maybe look at it more in another example or two. So I'm going back up to the top. As I said before, uh, initially this was meant only to take in data that started in cadence, uh, but um, the good news is now it works with um, any type of, of um, table data. So in this case, let's say I have this table data and um, I'm gonna just copy and execute, I'll execute this line just to get the data into MATLAB. And then I'll do this line to create a table, okay? Again, this could come from any um, arbitrary table data. So now I've got T, if I display T, T is now a 304 by 12 size table. You can see what the column labels uh, are called and what type of measurements we made here, like slew rate, gain, current, bandwidth, and um, some of the design variables, like these transistor links and transistor widths for M18 and M24, respectively. So let's say I want to, again, analyze, visualize this in trend chart form. So let's go back to our script. Um, again, here in this case, I said I just want one variable on the x-axis, that's the width of the FET M24. Um, on the wax, I just want the gain. And on the legend, I'm gonna put the length of that transistor. So let's go ahead and call that, and I'll get a particular trend chart view of that data. And of course, I can move that around if I so choose. And and that's good, That that's, that's a good start. Now you notice here, however, that it did sort of chop off the length of the x-axis variable because it's longer. You can highlight it and you can see that it's actually a much longer name than indicated here. So if we wanted to, we could shorten that uh, using MATLAB's uh, table API. So I will go ahead and move that off to the side for now. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, instead of having that long name with all of this, which doesn't change from, uh, from um, column to column or from variable to variable, I'm just gonna shorten it uh, to these, to the very end of the name, the part that's unique. So I'll call those four lines here, rename, using rename bars. And then I will call the trend chart again. I don't, I can either call it with a legend or without a legend here in this case. So I'm gonna call it in this case, just say with a legend using the shortened names. And we'll get what I think is a much cleaner looking trend chart. And again, we can see now the legend is shorter, more concise, and the x-axis more concise. Nothing gets chopped off. 
as it did before. Now, historically here, um, trend charting at, at MathWorks was introduced uh, back in the R2022A timeframe, but it was only available within the MixSignal Analyzer app, again, part of MixSignal block set. In that case, once you loaded your data, imported your data into um, this app, then you could click on a particular metric like gain or current, uh, bandwidth, et cetera, slew rate, click the trend chart button, and then you could go start customizing that trend chart using the trend chart controls. So um, over here, for example, you can move you know, certain variables between the legend and the x-axis and whatever you want to go on the y-axis, customize all that. Once you did that, uh, now you can also export that to a script so that you don't have to figure out how to use the function in the first place. And then it creates um, a function, or in this case, it is a script, which calls the trend chart function, passing the appropriate arguments for the x-axis, the y-axis, and the legend. So I hope you find this helpful um, in case you're wondering how to, um, you know, slice and dice your data, do trend chart analysis, or if you're an Excel person thinking of pivot charts, uh, this is a way you can now start doing it in MATLAB uh, once you have access to the trend chart function part of mixed signal block set for MathWorks. Thank you very much for tuning in.